Garrett Sudweeks. This is our little home right here, me and my wife Lexi, my sister-in-law Kay, just call this home. So let me show you around. Our kitchen is ultimately where all the farm bought produce is gonna end up. We got our, our compost right here that's, as we're making stuff, throw it in this little bucket. These are all of my very first chicken catalogs from 2002, 2005. Come here, buddy. Hey. Hey, buddy. This is Mo. He is a greyhound. Uh, he's retired. He was too slow. These are our chicks. They um, are four weeks old today. Got a webcam right there so that I can watch them while I'm at work in school. We're probably going to set up the farm bot in the center bed. I've got power and water right here, and the power's coming off of our solar panels, and we're collecting the, the water out of a barrel attached to the chicken coop. The water falls off the tin roof into the barrel, goes straight down into the ground, and to our spigot for the farm bot. There's a problem in the world. We don't get a whole lot of greens, especially healthy greens. But being able to grow that for myself, now with technology, new ideas in agriculture, you could really do a lot with a little bit of space. That was another thing that really excited me about the farm bot. I can't believe it's like actually sitting in my living room. I can't wait to put this together and see how everything that I've read online fits, fits in here. <laughs> they were able to like, get a ton of stuff in here. Heart's going crazy, brain can't think straight, trying to process everything that's in this box. The motor kit. Beautiful. All right, now, now we're starting to feel more like Christmas. All I need to be is like in my pajamas with a cup of hot chocolate and my grandma taking pictures of me. Got everything set up. This is uh, step one. Little parts bags and then the tracks and plates so that our farm bot has a road to drive on. I'm excited for him. I was ambivalent at first. It was his project. He can do what he wants. As Garrett explained earlier, growing his own food and knowing where it came from is really important to him. And now he can maximize his growing space and he'll be able to grow all season long and it'll be a lot less work. It's starting to look like a robot actually now. We've got the tracks down and basically out of the legs or the beginning of the gantry going. Pretty straightforward considering the amount of parts and then we'll just bring it up and just slap it on. Oh. Yeah, isn't that cool? That was easy. Thank you. Put the framing square and the level. Make sure we're good to go. <laughs> oh wow. That pretty much stays inside the lines. That is smooth. One thing with the farm bot that we wanted to do is a lot of people grow easy plants. But with a farm bot, we can grow challenging plants. When it's zucchini season, you have to lock your car or people will fill it with zucchini because uh, it's just in their gardens and they want to get rid of it. So I'm excited for the strawberries and he makes a wonderful smoothie with kale. You can't even tell the kale's in there. It's, yeah. it's like describing fish. It's, you can't even tell it's fishy. It's a, it's, it's, kale right. is the fish of vegetables, but exactly. it's so good for you. Exactly. And it's kind of difficult, difficult to grow, but right here we could totally do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Starting out today, um, beautiful morning, uh, putting the tools together. So we just made our tools, the tool mount. Now we are going to put together the brains of the operation. Uh, let our farm bot think. We've got our Raspberry Pi. Uh, referring to the online documentation, uh, giving a step-by-step -step process. I'm the kind of person that skips steps and tries to figure things out as I go, which often shoots me in the foot. Basically, just uh, mirror what the documentation's doing, and it'll happen. Oh, man. Look at that. <laughs> That's... Open source to me is the freedom of creativity and exchange of ideas without anyone filtering you. These are ideas that, that will change the world, change the way we look at things, but because we've accelerated 
ideas and that exchange of ideas. It can happen now. And we can be part of the solution now. Now we don't have to wait for somebody else to come up with the idea or somebody else to, to, to put the crew together and compensate them. Um, when people love it so much and are passionate about it, they'll use it to relax at night, you know, by getting on the blog, going through the schematics, building your farm bot, looking at your problems and fixing it. And I personally I get a sense of fulfillment from stuff like that. It's, it's perfect. Um, and I mean perfect. I, I don't hand out compliments very much, but this exceeds all of my expectations. I have to step back and soak it all in. This is actually sitting on the raised bed that I built six months ago and it's here and we're gonna see it in action. It's a, it's a project for me and, and for my community and for my family and uh, that has a lot of meaning to me and it's sexy. <laughs> Look at it. I was really interested to see how that image in my head would translate to this and I am I am perfectly uh, happy with it. Of, uh, the recent work and all the future work. All right. <laughs> there we go. She's in. <laughs> ah, like butter. That was nice. Yeah, that was all right. Success. <laughs> But today's been a success. Uh, FarmBot isn't running perfect, but, well, in some ways, she's running beautifully and perfect. But in other ways, we got a few hiccups. As with all technology, when you're installing it like this, um, there's a few bugs to work out. And that's the next step and part of the fun. I'm excited to get to know my FarmBot a little bit more. Yeah, work out the bugs and, and she'll be running smoothly in no time, so I'm so excited. <laughs> it's great. This has been fantastic.